<laughs> Wake up. Yes, hi, there you are. No, oh, don't, don't try to move. You can't, okay. No, don't panic, please. Just calm down. It's fine. I, I know this is tight, but you can handle it. Just breathe. Just calm down. Calm down. It's okay. I'll take care of you. I'm keeping your limbs trapped until I've made you understand. Please just take deep breaths. This will take some time to adjust, but you can still do it. Just breathe. Yes, I know you can't see anything. You can't hear anything either, save for my voice. But that's my doing as well. I will give you your senses back to you, along with your mobility. Just listen. Do you remember where you are? I'm sure you'll remember once away I shake away those cobwebs. Yes, of course. An unexplored planet. Engine failure, a crash. All you could do was pray that the emergency systems would save you upon landing. And they did. The ship made an awful wreck and came down. It smashed through the ancient trees and came to rest in the middle of the valley. The dampering system saved you from being smashed into a pulp, but you did lose consciousness. No, your brain is fine. That's not why nothing is working. Again, it's that's me. Yes, I did say trees. This is a life-sustaining world. Now focus. Think about what your body is telling you. You feel that tightness? Every inch of your skin. The sheath you're trapped in. Since you can't see me, let me give you a little description. You you really are completely covered in a smooth layer. The clothes you're wearing are lying in, around in torn rags. There's just the sheath. Let me give you a little tingle. <laughs> Don't worry, it'll feel good. You feel it in your toes, your thighs, stomach, your chest your neck, and finally your face. Relax, it's just a caress. Yes, that's me doing. I'm the sheath. I'm a semi-liquid life form. I have no limbs or bones or organs. Really, my cognition and functions are spread all over my entire mass. No, 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 don't start struggling again. You can't break loose, trust me. Much stronger much stronger creatures have tried. Ah, shh, 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 darling, it's okay. It's okay, it's gonna be fine. Poor thing. I know the crash is terrifying, but you're safe now. Let me give you a hug like you've never had before. A gentle full body squeeze. I'm gonna time myself a little bit like this. Mm, relax, darling. Everything is fine. You're with me now. Why? I'm a symbiotic life form. I can't sustain myself on my own. I need to bond with other living creatures to survive. It's just natural to me. I'm not evil. I'm certainly not going to hurt you either. I am bonded to you now, though. I feel what you feel. It would be like hurting myself. You solid creatures. I love you so much. You give me shape. You give me sensation and mobility. It took me a long time to crawl through the wreckage. It has basically a gooey puddle. And you are just so... So warm. You have no idea how comfortable this is. Like my own personal hot tub. Yes, I know about hot tubs. I have access to your thoughts. Relax, it's my nature to intrude it. It'll work both ways once you have had time to adjust a little bit. Yes, I do have to cover all of you. I have to protect you. You're my life now. Bonding is very thorough and I will I will be a part of you until the day you die. And only then can I tear myself away. <laughs> it would hurt you, us, way too much to do that while you're still alive. Your eyes. Yes, I will continue to cover them as well. I can transfer visual information to you. 
I'm just choosing not to until you've come until I've calmed you down. <laughs> Look, you're still upset. I'll release some endorphins, okay? Maybe we'll make that a lot of endorphins. <laughs> no, 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 no arguing, okay? Here we go. Is that good? <laughs> well, no need to answer. I feel what you feel. This sort of thing. <laughs> I can do for you. I will do for you. This is wonderful. I'm just so lost without a host, and I have no nerve endings or pleasure cent centers. I can't experience this on my own. My last host. Oh, it was a local animal. Contrapel. And a slightly bigger than you. I did love them, though. Like, I do love all my hosts. But life without a non sapient is, well, not very stimulating. My host before that was a pilot from a species you've never heard of. We were traveling when we were had an accent much like yours. We did survive here and we managed to be happy by all by ourselves. But the years stretched on and in time they passed away from old age. Then there was that animal. And after that? Well, I was laying flat on the forest floor waiting for somebody. Anything to step on me so I could trap and envelop them. I'm too slow to be any kind of hunter. I was so lonely, so sad here by myself. But then you came. You came with all that noise and drama, and I'm so grateful for it. And soon enough, you'll be happy too, though. Look, your life has changed. Permanently. And I know that change is scary. Trust me, I experience this with most of my hosts. But change doesn't have to be bad. I will make you feel so good. And considering considering this, you will never be alone again. You will never be misunderstood because I know everything about you. I will never hurt you, even by accident. I see it in your mind. Disappointments, failures, people who've hurt you. Let you down, not returned your feelings. You searched for a partner. Somebody who can fulfill you. You will those holes in your spirit. Oh no, you found one. I will be with you, holding you in my embrace for the rest of your life. I will be a companion, a caregiver like you've never had. Yes, a caregiver. I see into your thoughts, as you've surrendered some habits that are bad for you. The negative thoughts, the destructive behaviors. I can't let you hurt yourself. Whenever the dark thoughts come, I'll be there. Like a, your own personal guardian steering you away. <laughs> I see your whole life. Your whole being. You're much better than you ever allowed yourself to believe. Right? You've calmed down now. Now that you understand the situation, I'm going to release your limbs now. Three. Two. There. Give us a bit of a stretch. I can tell we need one. <laughs> yes, I said we... Uh, that's so much better. Next, I'm going to give you sight and hearing. Yes, the ship is a mess, and this thing won't be flying again. Let's check out when what you have instead. Look at your new body, with me spread all over it. Aren't we sleek, Baron? Faultless, black, glossy skin, not a single spot or wrinkle. <laughs> now, please, stand up. I could just make you, but that's not how I want to start this off. There we go. <laughs> You're doing so well. Do you feel the strength my lair gives you? It may be a puddle on my own, but once I've covered a host, I grant them great power. They give me as a living life support system. <laughs> See that big hole in the ceiling? It's about five meters up. Yeah, that one. Jump through it, trust me. With me on your side, you can do it. Ready? <laughs> yeah, yes, yeah, see? It was easy. None of the predators here can threaten you. Check out the view. It's a huge, untamed wild wilderness. We'll be an unstoppable pair. Yes, the ship is a mess, but the partner who landed me there, the ship is more in contact with than this. <laughs> I think we can salvage parts from your ship and then get off the planet. 
I think I can finally leave this world. We can travel to Star Lanes together. I want to seek out my family. <laughs> yes, my kind is family units, and I want you to meet them. And their hosts, too. I'm sure you will all love each other. But first things first, I want to experience my new host. I'm sure you want to try this out, too. Let me show you what I can really do for you. Hey guys, Subaru here. If you guys didn't know this audio and anyway, you think it's fine. You guys have a great night today. You guys have a great day tomorrow. And as always, bye bye.